regular cameras these days? Uh, I bet, uh, uh -huh, yeah, a bit fewer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fewer people are using regular cameras. Okay, continue, please. Okay. Uh, Some people don't ever have flat phone line anymore because cell phones are becoming less, less up to people. Mm, no. No way. More. What is it? What is a word that is similar to more? Really? Uh, increasingly. 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 Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. Increasingly. Increasingly affordable. Affordable. I mean, they much. They much growing expensive? No. You less. Which is minor, yes, less. Less. Mm -hmm. They less expensive that they used to be. Also the number of full features available is growing. You can write an email, get movie times, and never watch the news. In one small device, you have everything you need to stay in touch with the world. It's amazing. It's amazing. Excellent. Very good. Okay. All right, you guys. Very good. So, thank you. Um, did you get to write the paragraph, David? A little paragraph. Okay. Can you read it, please? Okay. Read about, about write about a blog about a write a blog about a trend you've noticed in your town or city. What do you notice? Come on. I've noticed that more and more young people emigrate abroad, mainly to the United States, mm -hmm. with the purpose of achieving the American dream. Mm -hmm. As a consequence of this phenomenon, mm -hmm. the student population has declined it considerably, considerable, considerably, considerably, mm -hmm. considerably. Yes. Okay. Wow. And even more young people abroad spend long years without seeing their parents. Mm -hmm. That's too bad. Uh, yeah wow amazing yes i that's that's a, that that was the trend when i when i used to live uh back in over there in las cruces mm -hmm. most of my friends went to the united states most of them yeah they didn't they didn't fin well they didn't finish high school actually mm -hmm. they didn't finish high school and the only option they had is to go to the states work earn some money some of them used to uh, um, used to send money back to Mexico for their family, but very few of them, very few. I would say like, like very few, okay, very few. So, um, and that was the trend back then. Now, what do you notice about, about the, the people now? People are becoming famous, yes or no? People are becoming YouTubers, right? Oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> most and most. Yeah. Little kids, little kids have a channel in YouTube. That's messed yes. up. Guys. And yes. parents and parents should be really should be really careful with that. Yes or no? What do you think? Yes. I listen about one kid of South Korea mm -hmm. and the girl have six years. Six years. Oh, oh my god. Yes. And she and has the, a yes, and it's very famous, I think. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I mean, if parents are aware, are aware of the things their kids are doing, well, that's until, until you know. I mean, from one from one side, maybe okay, but when parents don't monitor their children and they upload 
just anything just to get a like, just to get views, just to get, you know, a, a more comments and everything, that's messed up, right? Yes. So anyways, you guys, uh, okay, that's another, another trend right now. Yes. Have you noticed trends about about fonts, eh, Diana, or or any or any other technologic or any other gadget? Well, I think the more the most common is cell is the smartphones. Yeah, people carry a lot of a lot of uh, young people or most of the people carry cell phones. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, because but I noticed that, huh? for example, I have my I have my first cell phone when I. When I start secondary, okay, and, and well, I see other other kids about elementary school, and they have iPhone and mm -hmm. a lot of cell phones. Exactly, yes, they are. I mean, kids right now, kids, kids. I mean, primary student kids, they have the best cell phones now. Yes or no, guys? Yes. They have the best, the best of the best. When when we were that age, we, we, we didn't have cell phones, right? No. We didn't have any cell phones, exactly. So so that's messed up, right? Yes. I know that can be that can be sometimes dangerous. Uh -huh. yes, Diana? No, nothing. Okay, excellent. Very good, very good. Okay, you guys. So let's get it started now with the with the book. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hey, hey Marcos. Hi, Marcos. Good afternoon, Mr. Marcos. Hey, we playing. we miss you. How are you today? Fine. Ah, excellent. We were we were worried. Hey, we were worried about you. I was like, wow, Mr. Marcos, what yes. happened? Is he okay? Like, yes. We were worried about you. Is is everything okay, Marcos? Yeah, all, all yeah. right. All right, excellent. Very okay. good. Very good. So I like yes. I like I like to hear that, okay? Excellent. Yes. Very good. So uh, I was talking, um, oh wait, wait a second, please. Let me just check here. And so guys, when you start to think seriously about a career, okay? Uh, what are some of the questions you, you might think about? Okay, I repeat, when you start to think seriously, about a career, what are some of the, some of the questions that you uh, um, that you might think about it? Um, For example, I want to study a, a career. What questions can I ask myself in order to choose the correct career? For example. For example. Uh, when you want to choose a career, you you can ask yourself, what do I want to do? Okay, what what am I interested? Am I interested in technology? Am I interested in people? In taking care of people? Am I interested in in what? In 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 communication? Okay, what are you interested in? What are some other questions that, that you can ask yourself, guys? What are some other questions? Uh, when uh, one, uh, I have to choose a career, uh, the first question uh, is uh, if I really like the career, exactly. because the career is for all life. Exactly, yes, it's for all life. <laughs> First, you need to ask, do I like that? Do I like to do that? Do I see, do I picture myself in the future doing that career? Excellent, that's a good question. What are some others, guys? Diana, David, what, what do you mm -hmm. think? In my case, mm -hmm. I thought about a useful, a useful the, career. A useful. 
a useful yes, career. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. Okay, a useful career. Like, for example, what, what do you mean by useful? Useful means like a career that that you can learn, maybe? For example, in, uh -huh. in, with my father mm -hmm. talked mm -hmm. about where, uh, where I was going to, to work mm -hmm. at at first, I thought to study uh, chemical. Chemistry. 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 But oh. we talk uh, where is what going to, okay. to work. Uh -huh. okay. We made a, li a list, for example, uh, hospitals, oh. laboratories, uh -huh. Oh yeah. And beside that specialty, mm -hmm. we consider the uh, electricity. Oh really? Uh -huh. Electricity. Wow. We conclude that the electricity is used in in every in every things or in, ah, in, okay. in all all around. Yeah, all around, yeah, all around. Yes. I mean, I mean, whatever, right? Whatever. Whatever, yeah. Exactly, whatever. Yes. Okay. That was the mm -hmm. Oh my God, that's yeah, that's a good question. For example, do do I mean, uh, do really do really people want the offer that I'm going to give? I mean, the, the yeah, the job that I'm going to give. Yes. yes. Uh, uh, are people, uh, is there a, a, a demand of that career? Yeah. Yes. Exactly. So, so yeah, it, it depends, right? It, it depends on what you like. In the end, guys, in the end, in the end, if you really enjoy something, okay, it wouldn't matter. Maybe, maybe you can, you can earn, you know, little money, yes, than other professions. But in the end, if you like it, well, you don't have to work, okay? Because you like it. Yes. Yes. All right. Very good. Okay. Sometimes guys, well, my uh -huh. sometimes my cousin say mm -hmm. that why I don't have a stress, mm -hmm. and because I study I study English and then mm -hmm. the classes the normal classes, then I I say to her because mm -hmm. I like it. If I like the thing that I do, I don't have any matter. Exactly. Yes. You won't. You won't have to be. You won't have to be worrying about. You know. Yes, other things. Because right? I enjoy. I enjoy the oh. thing I do. Exactly. That's great. Yeah. That's exactly. Good. That's good. Yeah. Excellent. Yes. So. So yeah, that's that's the attitude, right? I think that's that's the correct attitude when you when you are looking for a you know for a career for a or you know for a profession. Yes. I have only so. two years to decide it. Exactly. Yes, you have to make up your mind. Okay. <laughs> yes, I have in my mind and okay. about about technical. A technician. Yes, technician or computers, right? Computer you technician. Ah, okay. Yes, or technology like, in general. Like, like computer engineering. Yes, maybe. Okay. And the other that I have is languages. I really oh, like it. Oh, wow. Yeah, languages, of course. Yes. Yeah, there are a lot of things that we might be interested in, right? So, so yeah. In the end, it's it's your decision, right? Or sometimes you are influenced, right? <laughs> like yes. By you know, by parents, by friends, by family. Okay. Yes. So, but in the end, you have to decide because that's what it, that that's what you are going to end up doing. Okay. Yes. So, all right, you guys. Excellent. Thanks for your thoughts and comments. Okay. So here, what professions? or occupations do we see here in the pictures? Come on. Uh, medicine or nurse. Okay, nurses. Carpenter. Okay. Teacher. A, carpenter. Mm -hmm. a teacher. Yes. And in a, in a photo, in the news. news. Yes, in the news. The I think news. It, I, the, the careers communities, I think. 
communities. Exactly, news presenters, right? They are like news presenters. Or journalists. Journalists, yes, exactly. Uh, journalists, journalists, very good. Exactly, those are journalists, actually. Very good, guys. Now, which of these areas of work are hard to get into? Which ones are easier, guys? Which one do you think is hard and which one do you think is easier? I think hard is in medicine. Why? Why do you think? Because you need to, to learn about a lot of things. If you work in a hospital, you need to know about all, little by all the things. Okay. It's a long, it's a long career, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, very good. How most of the people can enter in the, in the university. Exactly. And which one do you think is easier? Or which one are easier? Yeah, yeah this question is difficult, right? Because yes. you you <laughs> don't you don't you don't know what it's like to be a carpenter. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Because I think they need to know a lot of mathematics. Yeah, you need to know mathematics in order to be a, a carpenter. Of, yes. yes, you need to be patient. Yes, so just be like patient. just like nurses, you need to be patient, right? Yes. So easier, easier? I don't think so. In order, um, also, also journalists. I mean, you have you are in front of of millions of people. If you make a mistake, yes. you will be making a million mistakes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So yeah, so that's that's messed up, right? Yeah. <laughs> so well, none of them are easier. I, uh, most of them are challenging. Now, yes. guys, yeah, but this, I mean, this is. I mean, look at this question. Which which are the highest paid? Which one? The high. Yeah, the highest paid. Like, would you pay a lot of money to do that? Mm. What, what do you think? Which one do, do you do you get paid like a lot of money? A carpenter, a teacher. What do you think? Uh, sorry, teacher. What is the question? Oh, which are the highest paid? High. The, yeah, the highest paid. I mean, the the highest salary. The media, uh, or journalist. Journalist, okay. I think the yeah. journalist. Journalist too? Okay, yes. Perhaps, Thank yes, you. exactly. Okay. Also, also nurses. Nurses if you, and if you if you have like a, yeah, if you have like a hey nurses, if you have a specialty, yes, is the highest. <laughs> oh yes. Teachers, if you are in carrera magisterial, yes, is the highest. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. For example, that David, is there is there a position in your company that pays you the highest? Like, like, like for example, there are technicians, there are you know masters, or what? What are the positions in in your company? Yeah, yeah. There are technicians, uh, engineer level. Okay. Uh -huh. wow. Masters level includes. Really? Wow. Even, uh -huh. master level, even. Uh -huh. Even master, okay, mm -hmm. okay, very good. Yeah. Okay, wow. Now, which one, hey, which ones are most popular with your friends or, or, or family? For this career? Yeah, you can say these careers or others, no, doesn't matter. I think teacher. Teachers, okay, okay. In my family. Because I know, okay. because my aunt, my cousin, and the, uh, I forget the word, and three people in my, in my family are teachers. Oh, okay, okay, three people. Yes, two for primary, for elementary school, and the other one is for secondary, I think. Okay, excellent, wow. Okay, so yes, uh, let's see. Like being a teacher is one of the populars. 
for me is uh, nursery. Nursery is one of the most popular in my, with my family. With my friends, yes, it's teaching. Teaching, I will be the one. Okay, so guys, look, here we have the media. The media, Wait, which picture is talking about the media? Number two. Okay, hotel and tourism. Hotel and tourism. Well, actually it's not here. Yes, actually it's, actually, it's, not, here. it's not right there. Medicine. Number three. Three. Law. Law. Oh. Uh, it's not actually there, uh, but law is, I think law is one also the highest paid, yes? Oh, yes. Uh, finance also. Yes. What about entertainment? What about actors and actresses and, yes. and YouTubers and all of them? Do they get a lot of money? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, right. Exactly. Social work. Maybe, maybe right maybe social work is like yes like you know psychology and things like that yes yes teaching teaching picture number four right number four. Uh, it's not the highest but it's not the highest but it's you know the depending on the on where you work yes and traits like carpentry and plumbing. So look at this picture number one, right? Exactly. So, all right, you guys. So let's move on with the next place. Finding a career. Okay. What's the best way to go about choosing a career? So listen to these people. Listen to what ideas do these students suggest for choosing a career? Okay. So for example, you mentioned at the beginning, right? You mentioned like, you have to like it, you have to, uh, in, to be convenient, you know, okay? Uh, if you have any interest, yes. So let's everybody listen to these people and let's see if it's the same listening, okay? If not, well, try to, try to follow the, 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 the reading, okay? Here we go. Unit 12, Careers. Lesson A, Finding a Career. One, Getting Started. B, Listen to four students talk about ways to choose a career. Which of the ideas above do they mention? Check the ideas. What other ideas do they suggest? What's the best way to go about choosing a career? Laura, I think the first thing to do is to decide on an area you're interested in and then do some research to find out what jobs you can do in that area. I mean, what I do first is talk to people and find out what jobs they do and maybe find out more on the internet. The main thing you need is lots of information. Jacob. Yeah, for sure. What you should do is think about what you really enjoy doing with your time and then see if you can make a career out of it. The good thing about that is you end up with a job you love. I guess what I'm saying is that you need to choose a career you'll really like. Jason. Right. And one thing I would do is see a career counselor and take one of those personality tests to find out what your strengths and weaknesses are. And then the career counselors will what they do is tell you what kinds of jobs you'd be good at. Jenny, another thing you can do is apply for an internship with a company. The advantage of that is that you get some work experience while you're still in school. What a friend of mine did was interesting. What she did was call up a bunch of companies and offer to work for free on her vacations. She got some great experience that way. Okay, so what are what are some uh, suggestions, guys, on choosing on choosing the you know on choosing a career? Uh, decide on the area you're interested in. 
Exactly. Laura says, decide on the area you're interested in. Research, right? Also. Yeah. Jobs in your area. What about Jacob? Jacob. He says that you have, that you. That you really enjoy. That you have to like With it, your right? time. Exactly. Mm -hmm. What about Jason? What would Jason would do? What Jason would do? What would Jason do? He would do something, right? He would go and uh, take a what? A test. Yeah, a personality test, exactly. Test. Yeah. So you can see what you're good at. And Jenny, what's her suggestion? Uh, apply for an interesting with a company. Yeah, internship, exactly. Internship. Yes, very good. Apply the ones who are interesting. So you, your ideas are similar with the ones that you mentioned at the beginning? Yes. Maybe the first and the, uh, the Laura and Jacob are exactly. similar. So those are the ones that, that are very really similar to what you mentioned, right? Excellent. Yes. So, okay, you guys. Now, look at letter B. How did the students actually make these points? Look at Laura. First, Bayana, uh, can you read, please? Number okay. one. First, you need to decide on an area you're interested in. Interested in. Interested in. So, exactly. So how how does Laura make this point in the in the conversation there? How use first? Uh -huh. No, but check what Laura said here. Laura. She had to research in order to find out. Uh, no, uh, look at no, look at look at this. This look at this phrase. Find this phrase and tell me what's the difference. Okay. It's different. Okay, it's different. Okay, so what is the difference? Because in the that Laura says. I think the first thing to do is, is okay. to decide. Yeah, excellent. Look, what Laura mentions before, it's, it's an expression to give your opinion, right? Yes. I think, and then she says, the first thing to do is, and then it says to decide. So, come on, I need you to, I need you to find the other a underline in your book, please, underline in your book, the expressions that the people add to these comments, okay? For example, here, I think the first thing to do is, okay, that's the expression that they add. What about the other expressions, guys? Can you find them? Okay. Come on, two, three, and four. finish okay very good very good
Okay, so uh, can you tell me number two, please? Uh, well, can you repeat, please, uh, uh, Diana, number... Uh, number one? one? Uh -huh. The expression in the text or in the mm -hmm. exercise? Uh, no, the, the complete expressions in the in the text. Okay, I think the first thing to do is to mm -hmm. is to decide on an area you're in, interested in. Okay, excellent, that's one. Yes, very good. Now, uh, okay, what about the next? Number number, uh, number three, guys. Um, uh-huh, uh yes. Uh, yes, I go ahead. I have, I was, I guess what I'm saying is that you need to choose a career you, you really like. Is that what about the other number three? three. I would do is see a career consider and take one of those personalities personality test to find out what your strength and weakness are. And the last one. What a friend of mine did was interesting. What she did was call up a bunch of companies. Okay, very good guys, excellent. So those are the answers, right? Now, yes. listen up. So guys, sometimes, hey, nouns, pronouns, or verbs, plus the ing can be the subject, okay? Now, and okay, let's let's divide this, uh, this sentence, okay? Look, look at the sentence, everybody. Here, like this. Yes? Let's change the color. Uh, wait. Here. Now, from one side, guys, from one side, we have, this is the verb, right? Yes? yes. Now, but what is the subject? The subject here is all this, okay? The first thing to do, okay? That's the subject. And then we have the verb, okay? The verb is eat. Yes? So, okay, now what about in number two? Okay? I guess what I'm trying to say, I guess what I'm saying is that you need to choose a career you like, okay? Okay, 
So what I'm trying, I guess what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. Okay. Same way. Same way, exactly. Yes. Now, one thing that I would do, that's the subject. Okay. What a friend of mine did was interesting. That's the subject and then we have the verb. Okay. Okay. So, uh, so these sentences, A, hey, these sentences, okay. Um, uh, some of them, okay. Uh, here we have nouns or pronouns, for example, here, nouns or pronouns. I think the first thing to do, I guess what I'm saying, okay? But, hey, but we have what, what closes, okay? Yes, so this is a, a what clause, okay? This is a what clause, what a friend of mine did what she did, okay? So those are what, what a, 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 a closes, yes? So guys, what I'm trying to say is that sometimes the subject, guys, is big, yes? I, but I'm saying big in, in the sense of that is long, okay? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a longer subject, okay? So for example, Laura says, I think the first thing to do, that's the subject, okay? Now look at the, the other thing that Laura says, the main thing you need, okay? And then we have the verb is lots of information, okay? Now look at, hey, look at, look at the others. Look at Marco. No, look at... Um, Jacob. He says the good what? The good thing about that. About that, that's the subject, okay? So that's the whole subject. The good thing about that, that's the subject, and then the verb, is you need to end up with a job you love. And he, he said one more thing, and one thing I would do what, which is the same thing that, he, that is here in the, in the not here, the, the sentence number three. One thing that I would do is see a career counselor. So that's the subject, okay? All right, so what I'm trying to say is that uh, sometimes the subject is, is not one word, it's a whole sentence, okay? Yeah. Is that okay, you guys? Yes. Yeah, okay, very good, very good. Now, listen up. I will continue projecting the book, okay? And let's go to the grammar. What clauses and long noun phrases are subjects, okay? So, uh, yes, uh, please, Mar Marquito, can you help me read, please, the information? What clauses here? Okay, what clauses? And long numbers phrase introduce noun, important noun phrases. Yes. What close phrases and long numbers introduce important information. Uh, they they are open to the subject of the verb be, which can be followed by a, a word or a phrase, noun, object, or verb, or by a clause. Uh, what clause? What do you need is lots of information. What my friend did was interesting. What would you do is talk to people. What I'm saying is that you need to choose our career you really like. Yeah, what I would do is talk, talk to people. Okay. Continue, okay. long noun phrases. Long noun phrases. The main thing you need is information. 
something my friend did was interesting. The best thing uh, to do is to talk to people. The good thing about, about that is that you end up with a job you love. Exactly, end up with a job you love. Excellent, very good guys. So, okay. So from one side we have the what clauses and for the other side we have we have a, a, the long noun phrases, okay? Okay, now, uh, as you notice guys, as you notice here in the verb be, you notice that after the subject, what what do you what do you see? The verb be exactly is the verb be okay. For example, the verb be can be followed can be followed by by an adjective or adjective phrase or a verb or a verb phrase. Okay. So. And now look at the what clauses, okay? Yes, look at the what clauses. What do you notice about the what clauses, guys? For example, what you notice about 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 the about the about the what clauses is that. Uh, the the uh, uh, the what clauses? What you notice about what clauses and long noun phrases, both of them, okay, is that they are they are follow follow by a clause, okay. What is the clause? Oh, this is the last the last information. This is the clause, okay. Right. Yes. That's the, the clause, okay? Is the last item in each column, okay? Yes. So, now, that, guys, that is often used to introduce the clause, okay? Yes, for example, the good thing about that is that you end up with a job you love. What I'm saying is that you need to choose a career you really like, okay? So usually when you use that, you are talking about a clause, okay? Okay? Okay, now, guys, what I need you to do now is on the next part, in letter A, once you've chosen a career, how do you go about getting your dream job? Choose the best expression, on the right to complete each response, okay? For example, there are three uh, spaces, we have three options. So, hey, Andrea, can you start read, reading number one? Okay, uh, I think the first thing to do is to get some more experience. Mm -hmm. So how, how can you complete the others, guys? Um, I think the second is what my friend did is contact a company. No, but, but it's talking about me. Uh, what I would do. Exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. And here, hey, that's, why, that's why, hey, before you put your answer, you have to read the whole paragraph. Because, because when it talks about the friend, it's in the last. She started out in the mail room at a newspaper and ended up as a reporter. So it's talking about the friend now. So you say what my friend did is in the last one, in the last line. Okay. okay. So. Come on, guys. I'll give you a few minutes. Please read all of the sentence, all of them, okay? And then put the correct expression. Come on, guys.
All right, you guys, you finished. You ready? Almost. Yes. Almost. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, just a few more minutes.
All right, you guys. So let's everybody check. Uh, look at number two. Okay, uh, Marco, number two, can you help me? Yes. Okay. Uh, mm, number two. Um, what I could do is contact a company I was interested in to know. Uh, okay, yes, in number number one, we we read it, right, already? Yeah. Uh-huh. Number yes, one. Number, what I would do, and the second one, what my friend did, right? Yes. Ah, okay. Yes, what, what my friend did, did yeah. Uh -huh. what, uh, what my friend did was good. She started out in the mail room at a newspaper and ended up as a reporter. Okay, thank you. All right, Marquito, can you read number two, please? Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, the good thing about that is go to a uh, job fair. Uh, one thing you can do is to meet the recruits there. Uh, they sometimes interview you right there. And and the main reason to do that is you might be you might get hired immediately okay remember that the context context is how do you go about getting your dream job what do you do that what what things can you do these are the advices but these advices or recommendations are not complete you have to complete it with the expressions but for example marquito you know okay so when you say you know you are you are about to give the first suggestion and the first suggestion is the first suggestion is uh-huh one thing exactly one thing you can do is to go to a job fair okay one thing you can do is to go to a job fair yes if you want to get your dream job well that's the first thing you have to do yes and then what uh the number two is uh okay uh, what please. what's what's the what's the principal reason to go to a job fair the main reason and mm -hmm. to do that mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. yeah the main reason to do that and the last one is uh the, okay is uh, the good thing about that exactly yes the good thing about that thank you very good now can you read one more time marquitos with the correct answer please okay uh, okay, you know. You know. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, wait a second. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. You know, and uh, the main reason to do that is go no, to a job. One, no, the one thing. Check, check the here. Check the. Okay. Ah, sorry. Yes, the one thing. You know, the one thing uh, about that is uh, uh, no, the, the one, one thing, thing you can do, the one is go to a job fair. The main reason to do that is to meet the red reads. Recruiters. Red readers. They sometimes interview you right there. And uh, the good thing about that is you might get hurt immediately. Exactly. Very good. I mean, thank you. Now, number three, Andrea, please. Okay. Well, what I do is a good question. 
What I do is a good pressure, mm, a good resume. Uh, that's what you do, or that's what you need. Okay, uh, but what I need. So, well, what you. What you really need is a, is a good question. Resume. Mm -hmm. Resume. Okay. The advantage of that is get my job professionally. What I... Uh, the advantage is that you get a good impression. That's the advantage. Okay. Yes, so can you read one more time, please? Okay. That would be number two. Mm -hmm. there, you, there you go. Come on, can you read one more time with the correct answers? Okay. Well, what you really need is a good question. Mm -hmm. What I do is get my done professionally. And the advantage of that is that you can make a really good first impression okay thank you thank you very good um david can you help me with the last one please okay i think you know the main thing you need is as all my friends and family if they had any personal contacts What I do first is that they might be able to help you get an interview. The good thing about that is good contacts. Mm, okay. Do you have guys something different? Yes. What is the difference? Well, I have, you know, what I do first, I ask all my okay. friends and family. Yes, they... that's what yes, that's what you do first. What I do first is ask all my friends. That's number that's a uh -huh. and then and and then any personal contacts, the good thing about that is that they might be able to help. Mm -hmm. Exactly, they might be able to help. That's the good thing, and the last one is the main thing you need is a good contact. Exactly. Yes, there you go. Yes. So what you do first is to get, you know, had any personal contacts. Okay. Uh, and those contacts can help you get a job interview. Okay. So the main thing is to have good contacts. Okay. All right. So you guys. Now let's uh, uh, look, let's stop here, everybody. Let's stop here. And uh, before we go, Diana, what did we practice today? About clauses. Okay. Which have two types of clauses, right? Two types of uh, a, a, clauses to what do we have? What clauses and long noun? Long nouns, phrases. Fa phrases. Races. Okay. Excellent. So very good. So you guys, uh, for homework, we're, you're going to do page. Ninety and 92, 91. Exactly. 90 and 91. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Try to look at the context of each phrase guys. So you can get the, the right answer. Okay. So, okay. Uh, so guys, we're going to stop here. I will see you tomorrow. Okay. Have a nice evening, everybody. Okay. Take care. Hey, thanks. 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 Thanks.